Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel for another step-by-step -step makeup tutorial. If today is your first time of stopping by, you're welcome. Thank you for stopping by, God bless you. First time using this serum to moisturize and hydrate my face. And use, this, use it as a primer for my face too. Next, I'm using a foundation for my face. Please don't forget to support me, show me love by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for supporting me and showing me love. I appreciate it. I'm grateful. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, God bless you so much for me. Thank you. Next, I'm using a concealer to highlight my face. Blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm using a darker concealer to contour my nose, to snatch the nose. All the names of the product I'm using will be listed down in the description box below. All the names will be in the description box below. Next, I'm using a brush to blend the concealer and the beauty blender I use for my foundation to blend it so that there won't be any ash line. Next, I'm using a foundation as my contour to contour my cheek and my forehead. A dark foundation to contour my cheek and my forehead. Next, I'm using a pressed powder to set my highlights, to set my face, actually. Set the whole face. Set the highlights, the whole face. Set everything together. Next, I'm using a setting powder to bake. To bake the highlight, to bake the under high. And leave it, I'll also leave it for eyeshadow fallout when I want to do my eyes. I'll leave the under the powder on the under eye. The powder under the high, I'll leave it for eyeshadow fallout. Next, I'm using a brush to define my nose contour to clean it, to clean it up, clean all the powder. Next, I'm using a bronzer for my shake and my forehead to bronze it and contour it. Contour the cheek and the forehead. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Next is brow time. Next is brow. Brow, 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 brow. Next, I'm using a concealer to clean up the brows and to define the brows. I'm using the same concealer as my high shadow base, as my primer. Concealer as my eyeshadow primer and eyeshadow base. Eyeshadow base stroke eyeshadow primer. Concealer as high shadow base. Concealer as eyeshadow primer. 
for the eyes. Next is highs. First, I'm using this light yellow shade for my crease as my transition color. Light yellow shade. That yellow shade was not coming out well the way I want it, so I changed it to another palette. I use this yellow in this palette, and this one is coming out well. Yellow, 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 yellow. This yellow is good. Next, I'm using a light pink, a light pink purple shade, kind of purple, light pink, light pink, light purple kind of shade for my crease to light pink, I think it's light shade, light pink, yeah, on camera. Next, I'm using another dark pink for my crease to deepen it a little bit. The other one was not coming out well, so I changed the palette to use this shade. This one is darker, dark pink. Next is a little cut crease for just the center. Mm -hmm. A little cut crease for the center, a little yellow high. Hello, hello. Next, I'm using that light pink shade I used for my crease before. I'm using it for the hedges to blend the hedges a little bit. Before I had my lead color, before I had the center color, the shade for the center, adding a little bit pink first. Now the lead color, the center color, a light pink, frosty pink color. A light purple. It's like purple, but it's showing pink. All the shade I use is like purple, light purples, but they are showing pink on camera. I don't know why. The same shade I use on my crease or my lower lash line. For my lower lash line. Next is liner time i'm using a liquid liner to line my eyes with a little wing line the eyes with a little wing then i'm using a kajal a black kajal for my waterline adding a little bit of that dark shade i use on my crease to blend the lower lash line and mascara for the eyes See all the fallouts? They are on the powder. That is why I leave the powder under my eyes. I leave the powder under my eyes so that when I'm doing my eyes, all the fallout from the eyeshadow will be on top of the powder and not my skin, not on my face. That is why I leave it there. Now is lash time. Blush time to blush up the cheek. Blush to blush up the cheek to add a little more color to the cheek. Next is highlighter to highlight the face. Highlighter to highlight the face. Highlight the face. 
little more highlighter for the nose. Highlight, then a little mascara for the lower lash line. Next is lips. I'm using this dark brown. The dark brown. Dark brown, dark red, dark purple. Just a dark shade for my lips. Thank you guys for watching my video. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. I really appreciate it. I'm grateful. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.